Hey guys, welcome back to TCG Bros. Now we're going to be opening up our final Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon Mega 10. We've had some pretty good luck, it seems like, so far with our 10s, but not quite anything amazing yet. The last 10 we opened was pretty good. There'll be a link on the screen to that video if you'd like to check it out. So this is the fourth 10 that we've opened. We've opened up one other Dark Rebellion Xyz, and we've opened up two Odd Eyes tins. So, opened up four total so far on the channel. That last tin, if we follow suit with that last tin, I'll be very happy with this pair of tins, though, to be honest. We got our Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Platinum Secrets definitely still, like I said before, look way better than uh, <laughs> the last Platinum Secrets. Uh, three good promos there. Bros, we need to see Dante, and we need to see Danko again. We already saw Danko once. Danko needs to make another appearance today. Galactic Charity, Area, Fluffle Bear, Curse of the Shadow. Oh, Inferno and Harmonic, even though I've had my Harmonics for literally ever. And Dante! Travel of the Burning Abyss. Oh, what a relief. Virgil twice was a sign of the Traveler, bros. And we just opened a pack of Jesus. Because we got Inferno and Harmonic and Dante in the same pack. That is pretty freaking incredible. And we got a Monarch Storm 4th, which I'll be playing in Burning Abyss. So, that was a really good first pack. Holy mackerel. Now we need to do a repeat of what we did in this Odd Eyes 10, which was pull the same secret two packs back to back. Or even better, if we could go back to back to back and get triple Dante out of 110, we'd probably have the best 10 in the history of Earth. Area, Artifact, Beetle Geist, Battle Guard King, Command Performance, Fluffwile, Swordsman, oh, we got Delteros. I always get excited when I see the, the Xyz as a secret. Anyway, Swordsman is a pretty good card. I've played that in Blue Eyes still. Stellar Nine, I'll keep around. That's my third Void launch out of 410, so not too great on that behalf, but uh, it's all good. We pulled Dante, we're already in plus. I needed that Dante. That Inferno and Harmadic, I didn't, but I bought all my Inferno and Harmadics, like, shoot, like directly after its original pack came out. Got Begaltech, Disruption, Serenade, Bujin Intervention, Chain to Spell, Galaxy Tyranno, Bujingi Sinew, Necros of Gungir, not very good, but that's okay. I thought I thought this card always looked pretty nice. Like the artwork of this card is just really beautiful in my opinion, so I may keep that around just because I really like the artwork of that. And an Inferno Antra, so that means I have five Inferno Antras now. A bunch of leftover ones in my uh, in my archetype binder, as I call it. But uh, in reality, let's be honest, bros. That was a pretty good ten, just due to that first pack there. Because Dante is by far the best pull. Uh, Inferno Harmonic is another good pull. I'm not sure that it's changed much since it got reprinted, but. That was not a bad 10 by any means, so I think we've had pretty good success with our 10s, and if you guys enjoyed this little 10 opening series we've done over these four, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, and thank you guys as always for watching.